I came here as a customer of the Corporation Bank, as a satisfied customer. Uh, I can also watch for their uh, friendly, proactive... I didn't know that I will be asked to talk, but uh, I'm coming to this chamber after exactly one month since I've left my office as the president. But I'm very happy to see a group of uh, mainly industrialists, because I see most of their messages are in industry and manufacturing. And uh, over the past few months and maybe a couple of years actually, industry has been passing through a little bit of a difficult time. And as a president of the chambers, I used to keep telling people what uh, is a problem, especially in a country like India, having a industrial production negative is something which is unheard of and cannot be tolerated. And one of the reasons uh, which had come to my mind why this is happening is uh, utter neglect of the industrial sector at the cost of other sectors. I don't want to be too negative, but it makes sense to say why, what is happening before saying what is possible. So uh, this is the reason which has to come in public discourse. But this is a happy occasion. We are having a get together of MSMEs, we are trying to showcase uh, what our industry can do. Now let me look at the positive side of India. Today India is in such a fantastic situation. Uh, if you look at uh, the Indian demographics, I think so much has been said. For the first time we have more working people than dependent people. The maximum number of people in the age group of 30s and 40s are in India and will remain in India for the next 30 years. So this is a great advantage which India has. Then you look at the demand. If you look at any product, all of you are manufacturing items. If you look at the demand of your product in India compared to China, which is of an equal population, we realize that we are manufacturing between one-sixth and one-tenth of what China is doing. Whether it is in energy, whether it is in plastic, whether it is in uh, uh, copper, metals, whatever you name it. What does this mean? It means that even if India has to reach the level of consumption which China is today in 20 years, we need to grow at the rate of 15%. And 15% growth, we all know how great the industrial demand will be. Then you look at the other factor. Our service sector is growing so well, so it will require a lot of products. And these products, of course, can be imported, but can be much easier available if we manufacture it in-house. And today, if you look at the last and the most important factor which makes for great manufacturing in our India is globalization. What can be done anywhere else in the world can be done in India today. Today, there are no artificial tariffs of uh, uh, artificial barriers of knowledge or information or capability. So, if anything can be done in US or in China, can be done in India. So why can't we do it cheaper? Earlier it was so that our wages were 1 30th or 1 40th of USA. But China used to be very cheap. Today even wages in China are at least 3 to 4 times of that in India. So we can be competitive, we can manufacture anything which is there. Yes, there are problems, but the scope for manufacturing in India is tremendous. And I'm very happy to be a part of uh, this occasion. I thought I'm coming here as a customer. I uh, once again thank you for giving me this uh, opportunity. And I congratulate all of you to be in manufacturing. Manufacturing is a passion for me. I'll just tell you a small anecdote before I end. I come from IIM Bangalore. And IIM Bangalore, we had 140 students in my batch. 100 of them were engineers, mostly from IIT. In a 20-year reunion, I asked my friends, what are they doing? And you'll be surprised to know, somebody is doing marketing, somebody is doing consultancy, somebody is doing investment banking, and everything under the sun is being done. But I found very few people in manufacturing. 
So I actually went down and started checking up with all my 140 friends as to how many people were in hardcore manufacturing. You'll be surprised. The total number out of 140 was three, including myself. And all three of us were in manufacturing for no passion for manufacturing, but for the fact that we inherited factories. So that is the state in which manufacturing is. It is very important that people like you, people like me, everybody get into manufacturing for this sector. And I hope all the best. I wish the program is a great success and that we all get a lot of inquiries out of it. Thank you very much.